Maybe the best shotgun on planet Earth. Maybe. It's the Benelli M4 coming up. Hey guys, I'm Johnny with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. Today we're taking a look at the legendary Benelli M4. It's the Italian Combat 12 gauge. It's semi-automatic and it is a beast. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I get it out to the range, both here in Tennessee and at Thunder Ranch in Oregon, and hopefully help you decide if this one is right for you. Hey, if it's your first time here, we always do this. We always put a ton of stuff right down below for you to check out. And also down there is gonna be a link that's gonna jump over to our website. And once you get there, there is a full article on this M4. So in that article, look up above and down below. There's a lot in there to help you out in the bang department, so check that out. And all of our merch in our merch store is over there. Check it all out, see what you think. Okay, so this is the M4. It's a combat shotgun from Benelli and made in Italy. Now this is my personal shotgun and boy, I love it. Full disclosure, I paid full pandemic price for it buy once and cry like six times. Now back in the spring, I took it to Thunder Ranch for a private shotgun class with my friend Clint Smith and you're gonna see James and Ryan from TFB TV in today's video. They also ran my M4 as well, so there's a lot in here to check out, both again in Tennessee and in Oregon. Now here's the quick and dirty. It's big, expensive, and it's a heavy shotgun, but it will literally go through the apocalypse for you. You can't stop this beast. I think that's the right word for this one, it's a beast. So what makes it run so doggone good? Well, the heart of the M4 is the Argo system. It's a pair of pistons designed for the US Marines and it thrives on heavier loads. And the cool thing is it is self-cleaning. But if you do need to clean it, it all field strips super easy with no tools. It is a ridiculously simple design. Now it of course is a 12 gauge automatic. It takes two and three quarters or three inch shells. The barrel is 18 and a half inches long and the finish on mine is anodized black. Now you can get different stocks and different colors, but they're all really, really similar shotguns. The controls on this one aren't bad at all. A cross bolt safety right where you would expect it to be. Some say that the bolt release is a little bit small, but I think it's okay. Ergonomics are fantastic. The overmolded grip is big and solid. It's perfect for handling heavier loads. And while I'm on it, I do think for a combat shotgun, you do need to go with a pistol style grip, but that's just me. Now up front, the Ford grip that it comes with is okay. It's just plastic, but I wanted more options like a flashlight down the road. So I added on this aftermarket M-Lock handguard, easy upgrade, and it changed everything. Now, as far as aesthetics, I think it looks great. The Benelli branding is minimal and super clean. I have no idea why an Italian and shotgun has an American flag on it, but I like it, America. And the receivers, for whatever reason, are sort of blue, which is okay by me, so thumbs up on the aesthetics. Now, what it comes with is pretty much nothing. It's a gun and a box. I added on one of our PPT flatline straps and a red dot, and I went straight to the range. Okay, let's get out the aloe because this is gonna burn just a little bit. MSRP right now, depending on which setup you get, is between $2,000 and $2,300. But the street price right now is $1,800 to $1,900 unless you want the desirable collapsible stock, which is unobtainium, and if you do find it, expect it to double the price of the gun. Okay, let's get out to the range. For this test, I used what I could find, Kent number seven. Plus, I also used some higher brass turkey loads, which I think are Winchester. I'm not really sure, to be honest. The trigger's really good. It's short, it's light, it's crisp, so no complaints there from me. Combat loading on this one is super clean. Drop in a shell and hit that release, and bam, you are ready to rock and roll. Now, this thing, it runs like the precision machine that it is. 
Loading is smooth and easy. The side port is oversized and the running is, I'm gonna say the word again, it's just smooth. Like you know it instantly at the range. The M4 is a smooth running. I'm gonna use the other word again. It's a beast. That's really the best way I know how to explain it to you. Here's the lame part. The capacity, because of our wonderful government and 922R compliance nonsense, all of them come as a five plus one capacity. And for an auto loader, that's just really, really dumb. I think most folks are gonna wanna upgrade their magazine tube. I got a carbon fiber tube, seven rounder for mine that I'm gonna get onto at ASAP. Accuracy wise, well, I bought a bag of Granny Smith apples because it's a lot of fun to blow up stuff with a shotgun. It's a doggone good time. I did use rifled slugs to go out a little over 100 yards, but did I do it on video? Nope, I just abused those Granny Smith apples. The stock sights are fantastic iron sights with a ghost ring in the back, and you have a small Picatinny rail that comes on the M4 so you can add a red dot. My rail that you're seeing here is an upgrade. It allowed me to put on this Sig Romeo 5 a little bit lower so it's co-witnessed with the iron sights. All right, let me tell you what I like. First, I like that the new rail and the new foregrip and the new magazine tube, all of that stuff, it just lets me know that the aftermarket options are robust. You can get lots and lots of parts to dial yours in just like you want it. Second, I love that it's self-cleaning, not because I'm afraid to clean a gun, but because it runs clean, it'll run forever in the field and you don't have to worry about reliability. Here's how clean it runs. A thousand rounds in and look at my bolt. Not bad at all, it still looks great. Third, with the rubber on the stock and the overall weight, the M4 just eats the recoil and you can run this one all day without having to set up an appointment with your chiropractor. Now, as far as shortcomings, this gun is so solid, there are literally no negatives, none. You may hear guys on the internet say the M4 doesn't really like light loads, but you're also gonna hear guys like me that say they've had no problems with light, medium, or heavy loads. It eats anything. So again, from me, no negatives at all. But there are certainly some drawbacks or maybe some trade-offs we can call them. It's durable and it's built like a tank, but that also comes with a price. It's heavy. Fully loaded, you're gonna be over 10 pounds, so eat your Wheaties, y'all. Also, of course, it's the price. This gun ain't cheap, and the aftermarket goodies are also high. The entire M4 market is out of control. Blame John Wick, blame the Italians, and also blame the US Marines. So for me, no negatives at all, just a few things. I call them trade-offs or kind of things to consider. Overall, I think the M4 is far and away the best combat shotgun on the entire market. It looks great, it runs even better, it's got a lot of cool factors, and you can literally trust your life to it. So from me, two huge, huge thumbs up without hesitation, I fully recommend this one. Again, thanks for stopping by. On behalf of the entire Pew Pew Tactical team, I'm Johnny, and we'll see you soon.